When we talk about growth in our Colorado, we often hear stories of people being priced out of the places they love. That's right, and while cost isn't the issue in this case tonight, new development is to blame for pushing out the central players. Denver 7's Jason Grinauer explains. It's an overwhelming sense, I would say, of just being that close to something that is just seemingly untouchable otherwise. On top of an unassuming barn in Loveland, something vitally important is underway. My name is Scott Rashid. I'm director of the Colorado Avian Research and Rehabilitation Institute based out of Estes Park. These guys are why he's here. Is she pretty? In 2010 or so, I noticed the numbers had been declining, so I started building these boxes. Because these can be the only homes they have left. So it's been a winter down south. They come back up here, and now there's a subdivision where they nested last year. It just means he's nervous. He's not hurt. When we start interfering with their habitat and their territories, we need to do something to help these guys. Volunteers are doing just that, tracking birds, building boxes, and occasionally having to clean them out. <laughs> it's hard to put into words. <laughs> Just to be this close to raptors that are just usually so far out of reach and to kind of be in their presence. They're so beautiful. No words to describe it. But beyond looks, they're quite beneficial. It's essentially a natural pest control. And so having these guys out there is going to enable farmers to increase their crop yield simply by having barn owls around. The barn owl project is now five years old, and though he hasn't stopped the decline in the barn owl population, which has been going on for years, he is making some progress. In 2014, we had 10 boxes, and now we have 26 boxes. Making a difference. That was awesome. By simply giving a hoot. That's pretty neat to see her get so um, emotional about the owls. In Loveland, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7.